Canelo Alvarez versus Jamal Charlo or Canelo Alvarez. Baby, you want baby? I know that. Versus Dimitri Bevo. It looks like Canelo has received multiple offers, different platforms for his next fight. We're going to talk about that. Stay tuned. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Listen, I don't know how you found my video, but somehow, some way, you made it. 2022 is up. Please help others find the content by throwing a like on the video. Now, we're going to jump right into it. ESPN reporter has reported this. Other people have talked about it as well. I will highlight it yellow. Link in the description. Sources. Canelo Alvarez recently received two offers. A one-fight deal with PBC. That stands for Premier Boxing Champions. For a May 7th fight. Cinco de Mayo weekend. This year. 2022. Against Jamal Charlo. And then a second offer from another company. A two-fight deal with Eddie Hearn's rematch room for a May fight with Dimitri Bevo, followed by September 17th, about with Gennady. Hell no, guys. Hey, Max, everybody's posh is nothing. <laughs> Details in the ESPN story. Hmm. Hmm. Smash the like button. I will put the link in the description. So it looks like almost like a bidding war. It says Canelo Alvarez ponders bouts with Jamal Charlo, Dimitri Bivo, and a trilogy with Gennady Golovkin. Every time, I'm going to read some of this. Every time Canelo Alvarez prepares to select his next opponent, the fate of boxers in multiple weight classes hang in the balance. Just whom and at which weight Canelo fights next is still under. That's a Canelo fights next is still undecided. That's horrible grammar. But sources told ESPN that Alvarez has received lucrative offers, two lucrative offers, as his leading options. Al Heyman's PBC recently extended a one-fight offer to Alvarez for a May 7th defense of his undisputed super middleweight championship against middleweight title holder Jamal Charlo. Sources say the other offer from Eddie Hearn in rematch room which is a proposed two-fight deal that would pit Canelo at light heavyweight against title holder Dimitri Bivo May 7th per sources. Second fight, long-awaited trilogy between Triple G. Head no Max. Yeah, it's punch. It's a back with this pack of zigzags and this bag of this weed that gives me the most menace. Right? Gennady Golovkin, yada, yada, yada. ESPN's number one pound-for-pound -pound boxer prefers to honor his native country and fight on single to mile weekend and mexican independence day weekend so long story short canelo alvarez age 31 he has choices in the words of e40 ooh, everybody got choice right now this offering from espn is suggesting guess what pbc offered a one fight deal to mr pede canelo alvarez now I'd be remiss on my channel if I didn't include the details. This is why you guys love the channel, because I give you the latest and greatest in perspective. So I tweeted this. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Boxing Ego. Quote, I thought old media said September Caleb Plant negotiations fizzled out because of PBC, Premier Boxing Champions, and Al Heyman. And they only wanted to do a multi-fight venture with Canelo, and he... And Canelo only wanted a one fight deal. Let's see if Canelo takes the Jamal Charlo as his one fight deal or if he picks Bevo for a two fight deal. So, and then I sourced out the ESPN tweet that I just went over with you guys. So basically, old media, there were negotiations, even though Canelo's last fight was Caleb Plant. You got to follow me. They say I talk a little fast. If you listen real fast, I ain't got to slow down for you to catch up. So Canelo was in previous negotiations to fight against Caleb Plant. Those negotiations were for a September fight. They did end up fighting, but that was only after the September negotiations fizzled out. 
which is a bad look because some would even speculate in in comment sections they're like why is canelo keep having these extenuating circumstances where his fight is not happening on the dates he's claiming that he wants so some people would allege that it's bad business and some were believing that it was something even more sinister like avoiding more imminent ped testing but that's a whole separate issue but nonetheless the caleb plant negotiations fell apart and old media because i did videos about this this was last year when those caleb plant negotiations fell apart old media then blamed it all on a black advisor al Heyman, and his company premier boxing champions and said hey canelo wants to fight caleb plant but he only wants to fight the one fight and they were trying to offer a multi-fight deal nonetheless pbc did work with canelo canelo's team came back to the table after the negotiations fizzled out, Caleb Plant said that Canelo had some ridiculous demands, but after careful reconsideration, Canelo came back to the, the fold and they end up fighting. So they did fight, that was Canelo's last fight. But again, to reference my tweet, that's what we're talking about. People blamed Al Heyman and said, oh, it's, it's his fault and it's PBC's fault because they weren't willing to compromise and they only wanted a multi-fight deal. But then fast forward to the future, they're offering him another one fight deal. So this is good. You know, hopefully Canelo makes the right decision. And by right, I mean, does a deal with PBC and Jamal Charlo? Because I don't have to spend too much time. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand that on Cinco de Mayo, a fight with Jamal Charlo is clearly bigger than a fight with Dimitri Bevo. In fact, a lot of people haven't even watched Dimitri Bevo's recent fights. He has a very small profile, if none, in America. I don't know if he speaks English. Uh, he's from Russia. And the reason I'm saying speaks English is because you have to most likely do some shoulder programming, all access type of programming, 24 seven type programming and make it interesting. So, I mean, it, it goes without saying Canelo on PBC on pay-per-view, his last numbers showed you what it is. He did close to a million with an American known and American fighter, Caleb Plant. It was by far the best buildup that we've had for a Canelo fight in quite some time. I would really argue since the HBO days, like the Triple G fights and stuff like that. So again, I don't have to spend too much time stating the obvious. Jamal Charlo is clearly the bigger fight. Jamal Charlo is out of Houston, Texas. So you could put that anywhere in Texas. Canelo has a huge fan base in Texas. And so does Charlo because he's from Texas and he's a great fighter in his own right. So it'll be interesting to see what Canelo Alvarez decides to do and who he decides to fight. The other issue is Canelo's team randomly came out and said that Canelo was willing to move up and fight at cruiserweight against Makbuk Air, Makabu, right? And from Canelo fans to Canelo critics and everyone in between, it doesn't sound like that idea was well received. People looked at it kind of like, what? And I know Canelo's team, they're billing it as setting history and things like that, but I'm not too sure that many people want to see that. So I guess that's still a possibility. But when you're dealing with Canelo, I think that one thing that's interesting here is boxing in general is evolving and Canelo, I don't really think he's going to be able to get away with not making the type of money that he's been getting 30 to 40, 50 million dollars or whatever guarantees with guys like MacBook. And then even the fight with Dimitri Bevo, I don't know exactly how much they're offering, but to me, that is a bust for DAZN because stylistically, it's not gonna be a good fight. And I'm not saying good in terms of a challenge. I'm just saying stylistically, I don't know how well these guys' styles would mesh versus a guy like Jamal Charlo. I mean, no questions asked, that's gonna be action in that particular fight. And is more charismatic, name known people and it's that simple so i think jamal charlo is an easy shoe and the only you know the only downside is he hasn't fought at this weight class so he would probably have to move up to 168 maybe even higher 
um, depending on the games that Canelo wants to play. But nonetheless, it's still a, a way better fight than uh, Dimitri Bivol. Again, Bivol's been fighting on undercards and co-features, and a lot of people haven't really been able to keep up with his career stylistically, um, build-up-wise. I don't really see what a fight like that brings to the table. So I don't know. I don't work for DAZN. I'm not quite sure how much they're willing to spring for a fight like that versus either Showtime or Fox and PBC. They would probably be willing to wager more money because they know that's a great fight. That's a that's a jackpot type of fight. If he were to fight Jamal Charlo, many people have wanted to see Canelo fight Charlo since the 154 pound days. So I would if I was as an investor, you know, if it was my business, I would definitely take the gamble on Canelo versus Charlo being successful and lucrative well before I took a gamble on Canelo and Bevo being lucrative. So, you know, we'll see what Canelo decides. I think Canelo and Eddie Reynoso, they're trying to create a bidding war and play the two sides, PBC and rematch room against each other to drive up the price. Again, Canelo has, like always, a lot of options. We'll see what is decided in the end hopefully in my opinion is the right decision but we'll wait and see because nothing surprises me in boxing subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this the latest and greatest good luck to canelo in a the future is now the hybrid nation fives by kanichi bear hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones out of the box you can connect to any console or pc bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.